Nigeria mourns the death of her Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and others in an air crash Thursday evening. Panorama this afternoon will take a look at his life and death. Thank you for joining us. I am Ifoma Ojinta. <laughs> Now, the Armed Forces of Nigeria has released an official statement concerning the air mishap involving the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru. A statement by the Acting Director of Defense Information, Brigadier General Onyema Mwachuku, says the air crash occurred at the Kaduna International Airport due to inclement weather. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Lucky Rabo, while commiserating with the Nigerian military personnel and families of all the deceased officers aboard the aircraft, has ordered the constitution of an accident investigation board to unravel the cause of the crash. And President Mohamed Buhari has been formally notified about the sudden death of Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru in a plane crash in Kaduna. State House correspondent the Musambu reports that the Minister of Defense, Bashir Magashi, broke the sad news to the President Friday evening. He was accompanied to the State House by Chief of Defense Staff General Loki Rabo, the Chief of Air Staff Air Marshal Isiaka Amao and the Director General, Department of State Services, Yusuf Magaji Bichi. The brought us here is to formally inform Mr. President of the death of the Chief of Army Staff. And we also come to pay our condolences to the President and uh, inform him of the preparation to bury the Chief of Army Staff and the 11 other officers and soldiers. Very sad. It's quite a sad development. Uh, but of course the values that he stood for um, are values that uh, we cherish as, uh, as members of the armed forces. But I must say that it's a sad development. Already a statement has been issued by the president. They deeply shocked and saddened that they died in active service but that their deaths will not be in vain. Because what they stood for at the end of uh, all these security challenges uh, will be the best uh, way of honoring uh, their service. The late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, will be buried today according to Islamic injunctions. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari is deeply saddened over the air crash that claimed the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and other military officers. The President condoles with families of the deceased, the military and Nigerians in general, describing them as heroes who paid the ultimate price for peace and security in the land. While praying that God receives the souls of the patriots, the president says the crash is one mortal blow to our underbelly at a time our armed forces are poised to end the security challenges facing the country. The president pledged that the departed would not die in vain. The Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Salehi Magashi, has described as unfortunate the death in a plane crash of the 21st Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, barely four months into in the saddle. General Magashi, in a condolence message signed by his special advisor on media, Mohammed Abdul Qadri, said the air mishap which claimed the precious lives of the Chief of Army Staff other senior officers, his aide and air crew represents a national disaster while condoling the commander-in-chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, President Mohamed Buhari, the military and the Nigerian army in particular, his immediate family and all Nigerians. General Magashi recalls late General Atahiru's unblemished track record of service to the nation in various capacities and as a gallant, disciplined and dedicated senior officer who died in the line of duty to his fatherland. 
Condolences are already pouring in for the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atsahiru. Onange Fine Face puts together some of the messages. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has expressed deep sadness over what he described as the tragic death of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atsahiru, and other military officers killed in an air crash on Friday while on official trip to Kaduna. In a statement by the Special Advisor to the President of the Senate on Media and Publicity, Ola Awonihi, Senator Lawan says the tragedy is a national disaster of immense proportion that has thrown the entire nation into mourning. He extended his heartfelt condolence to the Chief of Defense Staff and the entire members of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. Meanwhile, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, has described as shocking and sad the death of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and others in a plane crash Friday evening in Kaduna. Bajabi Amila said the death of the Army Chief was unfortunate, coming at a time that the Nigerian military was finding solutions to the security challenges in the country. He said, having taken over from the immediate past Chief of Army Staff a couple of months ago, Atahiru has shown a lot of commitment in tackling the security situation in the country. In our related development, the Northern Governors Forum has also expressed deep shock over the air crash that has killed the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, his aides and crew members in Kaduna, Chairman of the Forum and Governor of Plateau State, Simon Bakula Long, in a statement said, the Forum is distressed over the sad incident which claimed the lives of the Army Chief and other officers and men of the Nigerian Armed Forces who were on an official assignment in the course of advancing the security and peace of the country. Meanwhile, the Kaduna State Government has received with immense sadness news of the death of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru and other military officers. A statement by the Commissioner, Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruan, quotes Governor Erufai as saying, Lieutenant General Atahiru was a shining star whose sudden death has robbed Nigeria of an officer striving to bring new drive to secure the country against terrorists and other threats to national security. Similarly, the All Progressives Congress has joined Nigerians in expressing deep shock over the reports of a fatal air crash of Nigerian Air Force plane conveying the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and other military personnel. National Secretary Katika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the APC, John James Apanudwede, in a statement said, while the air crash is being investigated, the APC commiserates with President Muhammad Dubari, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Nigerian military and the families of the deceased for the tragic loss of the officers who have gallantly served the nation with honor and dignity. We now take a break. Panorama continues in a moment. The struggle for independence had been a long and Do I have the question? Our founding fathers <laughs> and compatriots sacrificed their comfort and even shed their blood. We cannot at this point in history afford to spirit away their sacrifices for immediate and temporary gains of the day. Let us emphasize what you miss and not what divides us. Working for the unity of purpose with a stronger vision for a better time. Indeed. Together, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one. Let's live together. Let's stop fighting each other. Let us be as one. It doesn't matter where you come from, the tribe or religion, man, woman, or child. It doesn't matter who you are. Put Nigeria first. No matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one, let's live together. How can we develop when we're always in crisis? Families have become refugees in their country. No matter our differences, show some understanding. No matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one, let's live together. The Council of Our Fathers. I will urge and advise our younger generation.
to use talent and brain to sort out problems, not uh, arms. Nigerian youths, let's build our nation. My advice to these young people is please uh, do not take us back to those harrowing days. You probably do not know what it is. I believe we have fought one civil war too many in this country. So those who experience it will run away from it. Nigerian youths, let's build our nation together. Thanks for staying tuned. And the PDP Governor's Forum also mourns the death of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Atahir Ibrahim, and other members of the armed forces in the unfortunate aircraft crash in Kaduna State. Chairman of the Forum and Governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Waziri Tambowal, says it is most painful that this tragedy is coming at a time the army chief is leading the war against insecurity in the land, having just recently taken command of the Nigerian army. It adds that General Atahiru served the nation with dedication, skill, gallantry, and total commitment, employing his long years of experience and expertise in the service of our fatherland. The forum condoles President Muhammad Buhari, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, the Nigerian Army, the entire Armed Forces, and Nigeria for this sudden and irreparable loss. And um, now joining me there, Zoom, to talk more on the death of the Chief of Army Staff is a retired Brigadier General Usman Kukashika. Hello, sir. It's good to have you join us via Zoom this afternoon. Okay, so if you can hear me at the, at the moment, the nation is mourning the demise of the Chief of Air Staff, a gallant officer uh, with other great officers and airmen. How can you describe this, this moment in the armed forces? Okay, I'm afraid we seem to have um, audio problem, you know, linking with the retired Brigadier General. But we'll get back to him when we fix our problem. Now, moving on, the late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru was born on 10th August 1966 in Doka, Kaduna, North Local Government Area of Kaduna State. He was the 25th Chief of Army Staff and a graduate of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji, and the Nigerian Army School of Infantry. The remarkable growth. Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atayru was born on 10 August 1966 in Doka, Kaduna North, local government area of Kaduna State. He is a member of regular course 35 of the Nigerian Defense Academy. Before his appointment as the Chief of Army Staff, he was the General Officer Commanding 82 Division of the Nigerian Army, Enugu. He was also the former Theta Commander, Operation Afia Dole, now Operation Hadin Kai. Lieutenant General Atayu was appointed the Chief of Army Staff on the 26th January 2021. He died in an air crash while on official trip to Kaduna. In Abuja, Ismail Musa, NTA News. Let's take a quick break. The panorama continues shortly. Do stay. The struggle for independence had been a long and tough one. Our founding fathers and compatriots sacrificed their comfort and even shed their blood. We cannot at this point in history afford to spirit away their sacrifices for immediate but temporary gains of need. Let us emphasize what demands and not what divides us. Working for the unity of purpose, with a stronger vision for a better tomorrow. NTA, grow with the nation. Together, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one. Let's live together. Let's not fight in each other. Let us live as one. It doesn't matter where you come from, your tribe or religion. Man, woman, or child. It doesn't matter who you are. Put Nigeria.
No matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one. Let's live together. How can we develop when we're always in crisis? Families have become refugees in their country. No matter our differences, show some understanding. No matter where you come from, no matter your religion, we are one. Let's be together. The Council of Our Fathers. I will urge and advise our younger generation to use talent and brain to sort out problems, not uh, arms. Nigerian youths, let's build our nation. My advice to these young people is please uh, do not take us back to those harrowing days. You probably do not know what it is. I believe we have fought one civil war too many in this country. So those who experience it will run away from it. Nigerian youths, let's build our nation together. Welcome back. Now, the burial proceedings of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant, late Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and six other senior officers who lost their lives in Kaduna Air Mishap commences today at the National Mosque and National Christian Center, Abuja. Director Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Mohammed Yerima, in a statement says, the internment for the late Chief of Army Staff and six other senior officers will take place at the National Military Cemetery Abuja by one o'clock in the afternoon. And now we have um, our defense correspondent, Ismail Musa, at the venue of where the burial of the late Chief of Army Staff will take place. Now, um, Ismail, can you tell us what, what is happening at, at the moment? Yeah, thank you, studio. We are at the National Mops at the central, at the central area where friends and well-wishers have gathered and are expecting the arrival of the corpse of the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atayru. His cosmates, relatives have all assembled since about, about four, three hours ago. And uh, we're made to understand that the cops have uh, departed the airport. And uh, any time from now, we're expecting the cops to arrive here for the funeral ceremony to commence properly. Okay, um, Ismail, tell, tell me how, how is how, how are people, you know, reacting, you know, to, to this news over there? Yeah, most people here are full of shock and surprise. But uh, you and I know that uh, what is constant in life, they said, is change. And uh, it is dead, and it is bound to occur, and it has occurred. The only thing we could do is to pray for the repose of the souls that have uh, departed. Uh, some minutes ago, the members of the 35 regular course, the mates of the late chief of army staff, paid condolence to the wife, the widow, of the late army chief. Okay, thank you very much, um, Ismail. We hope to get back to you when the, you know, funeral commences. Now, the chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Awal Gambo, has directed the cancellation of the events marking the 65th anniversary of the Nigerian Navy. This decision followed the sad demise of the chief of army staff. Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, some senior officers, other officers and personnel in the air crash of yesterday, 21st May 2021 in Kaduna. The CNS commiserates with the nation and offers the condolences of officers and ratings of the Nigerian Navy to Mr. President, the Nigerian Army and Nigerian Air Force, as well as families of the departed. May their souls rest in peace. Oh, 
can get more news and updates on www.nta.ng or follow us on our Twitter handle at NTA News Now. You can also like us on Facebook at www.facebook forward slash NTA Network News. And also stay connected and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash NTA News Online. Also remember to watch our news live streaming at www.nta.ng forward slash live. And that concludes Panorama. We thank you for watching. But remember to always connect with the NTA, stand against rape and rapists.